seven gold medals. Well, let's get a story on that. Gordon Maddox was our man on the scene in Colorado Springs for the sport. Dominate the team competition. Indeed, they won the gold medal. They also won the gold, silver, and bronze in the all-arounds. Our Peter Corman covered that competition. And Peter, I would think that today the Soviets have to be favored in these individual competitions as well. They certainly are the favorites, Tim. And the reason for that is that Soviets have sent their very best gymnasts here. Yuri Korolev recently won the all-around championship here. He's the best gymnast in the world. He's here as well as the other strong performers. They'll also be members of their 1984 Olympic team. But when you talk about men's gymnastics these days, you have to remember the Chinese. They've only been competing for a couple of years internationally, but they're very powerful, and they're after the Russians. Well, of course, the top Americans are here as well. Have they got any reasonable shot at medals here? I think we do have a reasonable shot. Jim Hartung currently is in first place on the rings in this competition. He's also qualified on the parallel bars. Last week, you saw Peter Vidmore injure his ankle in the team competition supporting for his team. He is qualified on the rings in parallel bars. The injury won't affect him there, so he should be very strong. Unfortunately, our 83 all-around champion, Mitch Gaylord, had qualified for these individual event finals. He was attending a swimming match, coming back from the match, sprained his ankle, and is not in the competition. Eight athletes have qualified for this individual final. These are the scores they gained during the team competition. You see Korolev on top with a 9.9. .9. First up will be Wang Wofu from the Republic of China. Now, this is a very unusual floor exercise routine, Tim. Watch his opening pass very carefully. He's going to do a double back, hit the ground, and do a front somersault. Here it is. Very nice. One of the only performers in the world that can handle that type of skill. What a start for Wang Wo Fu, 20 years of age, not too well known yet in international competition, although he did win a meet involving China, France, and Switzerland. And it's been interesting, Tim, to watch the Chinese in the last couple of years come close to the Russians in team competition, only been competing internationally since 1979, but I'd seen them in championships like the 76 Olympic Games taking movies, bringing these films back to the China and studying them, and they were getting ready early to compete internationally. Wang Wo Fu, just one of the many Chinese gymnasts you'll be hearing a lot more about, perhaps as early as the 1984 Olympic Games. He is in third place coming into this final of the floor exercise. Getting ready for his final tumbling run. A very good routine, a minor problem on one pass. Coming up now, triple twist, nice set. That's gonna get a top score, Tim. Excellent performance by Huang Wofu from China. Let's go back into his performance, Peter. And this is that opening tumbling skill, a very creative move, double back, is the two flips backwards, hit the ground, forward somersault. Very nice. Beautiful timing by Huang Wo Fu, and there is the score, 9.60 for Huang Wo Fu, and of course, being first up, he is the current leader. And here is 20-year-old Yuri Korolev from the Soviet Union. He brings in a 9.9, .9, the highest score from the preliminary competition. And, of course, that counts for 50% of his total here in the individual final. The current world champion on the floor exercise, and this is why. Spectacular double layout landed in a perfect stand. If you had to pick one single event, Tim, that, that highlights the power that Korolev has, it is the floor exercise. Watch this pass coming up. A double front somersault. Only a few people in the world can do that. Worked out of it very well. Terrific start for Korolev. He won the all-around competition during the team event. Considered the best all-around gymnast in the Soviet Union and, uh, of course, was tops in the world in 1981. Recently beat by two Chinese at the World Cup competition, so Korolev is here to prove something again, that he is the best. Now watch this final tumbling run. A full twisting double back somersault, usually done as an opening pass. Much more difficult when you tie it at this point in the routine. He needs a 9-5-5 to take the lead here. And that should do it easy, Tim. That was a great dismount, a beautiful, powerful routine. Beautiful job by Yuri Korolev, a student from Vladimir, near Moscow in the Soviet Union. Appears pleased with his result. Let's go back into his performance here, Peter. 
And this is the dismount, a full twisting double back, normally done in the first tumbling run, but Yuri does it as a dismount. Nice twist, good somersault, and a near-perfect landing. Yuri Korolev trying to add another gold medal to the one he scored during the key team competition. And of course, he shared in the Soviet team victory, 9.9, .9, a total score of 19.80. And so Yuri Korolev from the Soviet Union is the gold medal winner in the men's floor exercise. His teammate, Artyemov, second, with Huang Wofu winning the bronze, tied with Batuon from France. Yuri Korolev of the Soviet Union brings in a 9.85 from the team competition, and Korolev having already collected a gold medal in the floor exercise. First up will be Toshiya Muromatsu from Japan, a preliminary score of 9.65. Muromatsu... 21 years of age, a physical education student at the University of Tsukuba in Japan. And a very strong pommel horse worker. Watch the amount of time he spends on one of those two handles. This sequence coming up here. Four skills on one pommel. The balance there is very critical. Lean too far forward or back and you're off. Looking very well here. Currently one of the best gymnasts in the collegiate system in Japan was the top gymnast they sent over with their all-star team this season to the United States. Nice dismount of fine exercise. That is Toshiya Muramatsu from Japan, a long and great history in gymnastics, that country. And seemingly pleased with his performance. Let's go back into the most difficult portion, Peter. Muramatsu is getting ready for his dismount. A loop to a handstand. No hesitation at all. Very nice. Toshiya Muramatsu scores a 9.6 even to go with his 9.65 in the preliminary round for a total of 19.25. And having been first up, he is, of course, the current leader. Here is Yuri Korolev. He's already collected a gold in the floor exercise event, and he needs 9.75 to take the lead away from Muramatsu. Korolev scored a perfect 10 at the World Championships on the pommel horse. His routine does not have as much difficulty as some of the others, but he swings exceptionally well, perfect form throughout the whole exercise. Korolev is being groomed to be the world all-around champion as he was discovered at the young age of 10, recognized to have abilities in gymnastics. He's following the great Soviet domination in the sport of gymnastics since 1978. He had the high score in the preliminary round of 9.85, so he has that working for him here. This is a very good routine, Tim. Right to a handstand. Another fine score for Yuri Korolev. Korolev trying for a second consecutive gold medal in this competition. The individual championships seems very pleased with his performance. And we get to look at Yuri Korolev's flare work. Watch the extension, and with ease, he goes to a handstand and very difficult, back into flares. Extension is the name of the game on Pommel Horse, and Yuri Korolev does it as well as anyone. 20-year-old Yuri Korolev from Vladimir in the Soviet Union, number 160, scores 9.75, and that will move him into the lead, ahead of Muramatsu. The Pommel Horse new leader, 19.60. His teammate is up next, Alexander Pogoryalov. Another of the outstanding, no doubt, Olympic competitors in 1984. One of the very best in the Soviet Union. At a 9.8 in the preliminary round. That was good for second place. He will need a 9.85 to win the gold medal. Pogoryalov, we first saw him in 1982 at the American Cup in the mixed pairs. He's improved a tremendous amount since then. Very, very good exercise on pommel horse so far. There's his handstand. And right into the scissors. He's the final competitor in this competition, so he knows what he needs to beat his teammate. This is an exceptional routine, Tim. Hops to the end of the flare, hops back to the middle. Very nice. He needs a good handstand. That's a great routine. For Goryalov, an outstanding show. He's got to feel good about that one, Peter. And his coaching staff, uh, they show generally very little emotion, but they give him a big hand. Watch the extension and lift on the flaring work. 
right there. Look at the lift. Now watch as he hops to the end. And back to the middle of a hop. That's extremely difficult. The balance there is key right up to a handstand. A fine routine. Number 162, Pogoyalov, scores a 9.8, and that is not quite good enough to take the medal away from his teammate, but he is tied with a total of 19.60 with Yuri Korolev. And so they will share the gold medal and yet another gold for Korolev. And tying for the bronze medal, Muromatsu of Japan, Leventi Molnar of Romania, each with 19.25. Back live here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I'm Brent Musburger, and a little bit later in our coverage of the 12th World Union. Where two Americans have qualified for the final here, their first real opportunity at medals. Indeed, you can see that Jim Hartung is tied for the lead coming into this final round. That score from the preliminary round during the team competition. First up will be Peter Vidmar. He is just five one hundredths behind those three leaders, and so he has a great opportunity as well. And we've sent our very finest gymnasts here to the World University Games for a reason. That reason, to win medals. It'd be very nice if we could pick up a couple right here. Vidmar, remember, competing with a sore ankle from the previous competition. He very gallantly did his floor routine with a bad ankle for the team score. I spoke with him before the match, and he told me he did not think it would affect him on the rings. But I have to be a little worried. He has a dismount that he's had trouble with. He sometimes lands low, and you have to believe that the ankle might come into play there. How's he doing so far, Peter? Very well. Has not made a noticeable mistake. He's in the swing putt. Here comes that dismount. Double twisting, double somersault. Yes, he got it in. That was a great routine. As good a routine as I've seen Vidmar do in the rings. Good job by Peter Vidmar, 22 years of age, from UCLA, met by his coach, Jim Howard. Did an outstanding job. And another look at that dismount, double twisting, double somersault, sore ankles and all. Two somersaults, two twists. That's much better than he normally lands it. Vidmar had a 9.75 in the preliminary. There's his score, 9.65 for Peter Vidmar. And I think the score's a bit low, Tim. You know, Peter was first to compete in this round, and sometimes the judges are a little hesitant to give out the high scores to the early performers. And now here is Jimmy Hartung from the United States, from the University of Nebraska. And he needs a 9.65 to catch his teammate, Peter Vidmar. And this is Jimmy's strongest event. This is our best chance of the competition for a gold medal. Hartung has good strength and good swing. There's a strength part. In the last four years, he's won the national championship three times on the rings. Remember, Hartung had a 9.8 in the preliminary round, tied with two other gymnasts coming into this final. Nice press to a handstand with straight arms. No noticeable deduction so far. Now the swing. Watch the tightness of his body right there. That's what the judges are looking for. No body movement. Now a dismount. Same one Vidmar did. A double twisting double. He got it in. That's going to get a great score. That's the best routine we've seen. Jimmy Hartung. And both Americans scoring well here in this rings competition. Okay. Way to hammer it in there. Nice job, Jimmy. A happy U.S. coaching staff. And let's go back into his routine. Here we see Jimmy into his first strength move, a plange. He held that fine. Now on to the second, an inverted cross. A superb routine on the rings by Jimmy Hartung. Let's see if he catch. Yes, he does. A 9.7 for Hartung. He got his teammate and has taken the lead away from Peter Vidbar. Now here is the only man with an opportunity to catch Jimmy Hartung for the goal. Aventi Molnar from Romania, 18 years of age. Tied for the lead after the preliminary round. He needs 9.75 to get the goal. Nice strength part by Levente. Pulled out of the cross to an L. We saw Vidmar do a similar one. As Hartung looks on, very concerned at this point. He knows he can win it, but Molnar can still beat him. Picked up a little swing there, Tim. He swings. That's a tenth of a deduction. There's a body wiggle. There's another tenth. So he's getting a few minor deductions so far. Nice second strength part. Very good on the strength moves. A little weak on the swinging elements. Now the dismount. 
Pulling back out. Not as hard as Watkins. I don't think he's going to get him. Laventi Molnar, his coach is happy. Are the judges? We'll find out momentarily. And of course, Jimmy Hartung awaiting this result. Hartung hoping to hang on to the goal. Let's go back into Molnar's routine. Molnar doing his second straight part. Pull to a cross. Very nice. But the swing in the exercise was not as perfect. And now the dismount. One twist, two somersaults, not as hard as Hartung and Vidmar. And there it is, a 9.8. I think it's too high, Tim. 9.8 for Leventi. Molnar gives him the gold medal with a total score of 19.60. A disappointment for American Jimmy Hartung, who had every reason to think that perhaps he had won the gold. He settles for the silver. Vidmar and Okada tie for the bronze. Peter is with the Americans now. Jimmy Hartung, silver medal. What were your thoughts as you watched Molnar perform after you? Well, I'm not sure exactly what my thoughts were, but uh, we should probably not even really get into it, but I was very happy with the performance I did, and I th guess that's the most important thing to me. Well, that was a super accomplishment. Did you feel his score was a little too high? I thought it might have been a little too high, but uh, apparently the judges saw it different, and that's the way it stands. And great job by you, Peter Vidmore. You must have had some thoughts about your sore ankle going into that dismount. Um, yes and no. I knew I didn't have to do floor and vaulting today, and so I knew that all it really mattered was the two landings that I would do today, one on rings and one on parallel bars. So I just went all out. I didn't think about it at all. Unfortunately, I was able to land that dismount. It's been giving me a little trouble all year, and uh, finally I feel like I've kind of got it under wraps for now. Well, good luck in the other events, guys, and congratulations. The Northlands Coliseum in Edmonton for more from the men's individual gymnastics competition. Tim Ryan with Peter Corman. And the vault competition has just taken place with Lo Yun of China having won the gold, 19.65, a surprise silver going to Warren Long of Canada. And here is the winning vault for Lo Yun. He scored a 9-9 on this, having come into the competition, tied for first place with a 9-8. An absolutely brilliant vault, Peter. Let's see it again. It is a brilliant vault, Tim. He's doing a handspring front somersault with, believe it or not, one and a half twists. Another of the outstanding Chinese gymnasts you'll be hearing so much more about in the next few years. And here's a lady you've heard plenty about already. Nadia Komenich, an interested spectator, watching her Romanian teammates in the women's competition and also in the men's. Now we're ready for the parallel bars competition. You see that Wang Wo Fu of China was the leader after the preliminary round. Vladimir Artimov from the Soviet Union was tied for second coming into this final round. He needs a 9.55 to take the lead. And Tim, it should be an easy job for him. This is one of his strongest events. We've seen him five times in the USA this season. The Soviets have highlighted him as one of their stars to be at the 84 games, so they're getting him international exposure here. Very well to date here in the routine. Two back tosses in a row. There's one, here's a second one. Now a nice dismount, he'll take the lead with it. A brilliant exercise by Vladimir Archiamov. There's another one of the outstanding young Soviets. And they are pointing him toward Los Angeles. And now another look at the second part of that exercise. Tremendous lift on that back stutz. Nice lift off the bars. Watch this right there. And a second time, beautiful. Now the double back dismount. Watch the lift off the bars. Incredible. A brilliant routine by Vladimir Artyemov. Number 161, it earns him a 9.8, and he easily takes the lead in the parallel bars competition. Now here is Wang Wofu from China. He led after the preliminary round. Now he'll need a 9.8 to take the lead from the Soviet Artyemov. Wofu, a tremendous parallel bar worker. He swings parallel bars much like many do the horizontal bar. Watch this now. On the end of the bar, the Yemidov, Giant swing right to a handstand. Beautiful. And another one right to the center of the bars. Working very well. Nice stutz to a handstand. This is a tremendous exercise so far, Tim. He's on his way. A little hesitation there. Tenth of a point. Not a major deduction, however. Nice double back. I think he might be able to do it. That was a super routine. Wong Wo Fu, he looked very pleased with his performance. It was certainly a clean one with a lot of difficulty in it. Let's go back into that, Peter, and take another look. 
Now here we see the only mistake made in the routine, a hesitation right there, a tenth of a point deduction, but he recovered well and did an excellent dismount to a near perfect landing. Remember, he needs a 9-8 to take the lead. Let's see how he does from the judges, and he has a 9.8 exactly. Number 115, Long Wo Fu, is now the leader in the parallel bars with a score of 19.50. Now here is Peter Bidmar from UCLA. He had a 9.6 coming in. He needs a 9.65 to get into third place in this competition. And by the way, Peter, we have heard that the Soviets have filed a protest with regard to the score given to Vladimir Artyemov. He was given a 9.8. They think he should be higher. We'll await the outcome. Vinmore, very good. Li should have been in a handstand there. A minor mistake to start off this exercise. A little leg split there and a step. He's had a few minor deductions already early in the exercise. Currently ranked number two on the parallel bars in the USA, beaten only by Mitch Gaylord, who once again is not in this competition but did qualify. He was injured. Now his double pike. A step back, a good routine, Tim, but he had some form breaks. So Peter Bidmar, number 173 from the United States, awaiting his score, and let's go back into the routine. We're seeing the nicest part of Peter's exercise, a Diamondoff with a quarter twist to one rail and swings back to the center of the bars. An original part done very well by Pete Bidmar. Bidmar hoping to get into the medals here in this competition. Here comes the score. 9.6 for Peter Bidmar, and that will move him into third place in a tie. Potentially a bronze medal opportunity for Bidmar. Next up is Jimmy Hartung, who has already won one medal here today. A native Nebraskan who enjoys motorcycles, hunting, and fishing, Hartung is generally regarded as the man who turned the Cornhuskers into a dynasty. Or maybe I was, I provided a spark or something, but uh, no, I, I don't really think about it too much. Uh, everybody just, we kept getting good new gymnasts, so I think that's probably the number one, one reason why we have had the success we've had. That spark, as Hartung calls it, was in reality two national all-around titles and a key role in four straight NCAA team titles. Jim also helped coach Francis Allen recruit many of the current Nebraska All-Americans who landed a fifth school title this year. This past season, Hartung worked as a graduate assistant while continuing to train. If, you know, if I see something that I think needs to be changed, I might go over and say something, and if somebody sees something that I'm doing wrong, they just come over and tell me it's... I don't think the one leader really stands out in our gym. I think it's, I think the reason for our success is everybody kind of takes that role. After leaving collegiate gymnastics, Hartung says he noticed a drop in his performance level. He recently picked up his competition schedule to get ready for the 84 Olympics. I think the next big goal is the Olympics next year in 84, and then I might just uh, enjoy gymnastics for a year and not take everything so seriously and uh, I think I'll have just about had enough by then. And here he is, ready to go on the Parallel Bars competition in Edmonton. He needs a 9.55 to get into the medals. And Hartung won this event his senior year in college. He's added difficulty specifically for those Olympic Games and for competitions like this one. It helped him in the preliminary round. There's a new movie's added, done very well. Hartung in strong contention for a second individual medal here no major deductions dismount a clean routine that's going to get a top score jimmy hartong having himself a fine day let's go back and have another look at that routine his coaches are happy with the performance jimmy in the middle of his exercise in the parallel bars came off not a great year domestically but doing very well in this international major event this is going to help him queue up for the 84 games. Winding the routine down, looking for a solid dismount. Watch the lift, spots the ground. A nice job by Jimmy Hartung. A score of 9-7 for Jimmy Hartung that moves him ahead of his teammate Peter Bidmar. And so Hartung will take the bronze medal. And by the way, the Soviet protest has been upheld. Five 100s has been added to the score of Vladimir Artyemov, and he is tied for Wang Wofu for the gold medal. We'll be back with more in a moment.
And now for the most exciting event in men's gymnastics, the horizontal bar. In the preliminary standings, Philippe Chartrand, surprise first place finisher tied with Yuri Korolev, and then a gang just 100 back at 9.8. And Yuri Korolev, who has been the dominant figure in these men's gymnastic competitions, is now ready for the high bar. And Jim Hartug is in that pack of 9-8, so he has a shot at winning his third individual event title. Korolev, a tremendous high ball worker, has scored 9-9. Nine, nine. Look at that one release move. There's two, two reverse steps in a row. Very difficult. Korolev has scored a 9.9 .9 in world championship competition. So he's capable of pulling ahead today. His second release move here. Nice flip catch, perfect. And now the dismount. Full twisting double layout, stuck it pulled. It's going to get a top score. Yuri Korolev going for his fifth gold medal in the gymnastics competitions. Here's the replay. On high ball, there has been increased difficulty more than the other events. Look at that. Two release skills in a row. High ball is getting crazy. That is scary to watch. A 9.85 for Yuri Korolev of the Soviet Union. A total score of 19.65, and he holds the lead as we continue. On the high bar, his teammate from the Soviet Union, Alexander Pogoryalov. And watch this exercise. This is one of the most incredible things in gymnastics. This is packed with difficulty. One and a half twist caught the ball perfect. Tim, we can't, I cannot believe the amazing progress Pogoryalov has made. Look at this routine. Now watch his skill. He's the only one who does it. Full twist and catch, two release skills with twists combined, extreme difficulty. We still have to come a triple flyaway. Could be a 10. Oh no, he stepped back. He lost the 10 there, but an incredible routine. But Goyalov, an exciting routine on the horizontal bar. We saw his coach, Leonid Arkeyov, standing as close as he could. It's obviously a dangerous routine. Here's the replay. It certainly is, and this is his second release skill. It involves a twist of 360 degrees. Only one in the world that does it. Magoyala brought in a 9-8 coming into this one. And now the dismount, a triple somersault. The only mistake he made in the routine. He overturns it right there. Had to take those steps. What a show by Magoyala. Let's see what he gets. A 9-8. A 9-8 to go with the one he scored in the preliminary round. And no doubt the deductions just for that landing. That's it, Tim. What an incredible athletic performance we just witnessed, however. And here from Canada is Philippe Chartrand. Now, what a story, this young man. His teammate, Dan Godet, was injured, and Chartrand was an alternate and got himself into the competition. Now he comes in here, tied for the lead, coming into this final round with a 9-9. Let's see how he does now. He did a very, very nice routine in the preliminary round. Two one-arm skills there. He does another release skill from one arm. Here it comes. Perfect, no mistake so far. The toughest part of his routine is yet to come, however. He does a triple flyaway. He had a little trouble with it in the preliminary round. He needs a solid landing now. He needs a great score. One, two, three. He stuck it cold. A credible routine. Boy, did he stick it. Philippe Chartrand from Laval, Quebec. Listen to the Canadian crowd. and he is still very much in medal contention here on the horizontal bar. He needs a 9-8, however, to get into the medal. Hartung going for his third medal at the individual event finals. He got a medal on the rings, a silver. He got a medal on the parallel bars. 
And now going for high ball. A little off on a handstand, but not a major deduction. Here's his release skill. Nice reverse half. Jimmy does not have the difficulty of some of the other performances. Watch this trick, however. A full twist on one arm. Perfect. No form break at all. Barton looks great right now. He's having a tremendous competition. Coming off not such a great year domestically. Here's a dismount. Nice full in, a perfect landing. Hartung's right in the money. Jimmy Hartung from Omaha, Nebraska. What a day he's having. Let's go back into his routine. What a spectacular event this is. A nice full twisting double back somersault to cap a beautiful routine by Hartung. A brilliant Nine, performance. A 9.8. Share of the bronze medal with a total score of 19.60.